Welcome to part 3 of PeopleSoft Fluid course. In this video, we will enable navigation for our Fluid page and also we will discuss the role of CSS in Fluid design. My name is Siva Koya. I am PeopleTool Certified Implementation Specialist. Let's pick up where we left off from our previous video. We created this page in a very lazy manner. And I know I have not created menu component and enabled navigation, but I went ahead and showed you the final output just for illustration purpose. Let's go ahead and see how this page will look on the front end. As you can see, it translated into a neat looking page. We need to understand the difference between the classic and fluid design. If you compare the way you created classic page and the way we did, you will notice two differences. The first difference is in the use tab, we enable this fluid page flag. So this is to recognize if the page should be rendered in the fluid mode and it has nothing to do with the layout. The second difference is the CSS style applied to our group box. As you can see, a style called PS underscore apps content is applied to the group box. What does this CSS class do? To understand that, you have two options. You need to go through the delivered CSS guide given by Oracle PeopleSoft. If you open that CSS guide, it will clearly explain what exactly this class does. This class does, it applies a CSS flex model. We discussed this in our first video, how CSS flex model gives you device friendly pages right out of the box. This is one way to understand the CSS class. There is also the second way, which is most painful one and very hard to understand. So for kicks and giggles, let's give it a shot. The second way is to go through the delivered CSS code. Before we do that, first we need to understand which style sheet the fluid is using. Because these classes fall under style sheet. There will be a CSS style sheet. Under style sheet, we have different classes. So let's flip back to the online page and see what style sheet is configured for our fluid mode. In order to find utilities, administration, people tools options. And if you scroll down, you see fluid mode properties. And there is no default style sheet defined here. So let's flip back to people books and see what it says. As you can see here, if there is no style sheet specified, we have a default style sheet defined here. It's PS style def underscore f mode. Let's open this style sheet from app designer. Let me copy this. Let's search for the class. As you can see here, there is CSS code defined for our class PS apps content here. And you see, percentage BP is a meta HTML function. It, it is a delivered function. It renders CSS based on the standards of the browser. If it is a Mozilla browser, it generates the CSS code according to the standards of Mozilla. And likewise for the Chrome. And as you can see, they are, they are using Flexbox model here. That is the reason when you saw the page uh, automatically aligned. So hope you got the point. Uh, using CSS style, it automatically rendered the fluid page for us. Let's go ahead and create the component menu and register our fluid page. This video took more than the anticipated time. So let's stop here and continue in our ne next video to enable navigation for our fluid page. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, consider subscribing. See you all in the next video.